You know, rear bath travel trailers are great for adventurous couples. And one of the best selling ones is this one right here. This is the Coleman Light 1805 RB, 22 feet, nine inches long, 4,503 pounds dry. And let me tell you, updated new bright interiors for 2022. If you're an active couple, this is going to be the RV you wanna put right near the top of your list. You got upgraded features in what I consider a mid to entry level tiered RV. And what do you say since it is a rear bath? Let's start in the rear bath. So right back here, you're gonna see porcelain bowl, high rise with the foot flush. I'm not cramped left to right. I got good leg room. Plus you got over 80 inches of interior height in these two. So you're not gonna be cramped up or down either. But what's great about these rear bath RVs, this 1805 RV, take a look at my mirrored ward that I have back here. You got the ward bar in there, plus you got tons of mirrors and tons of storage. Solid wood construction with the matte black fixtures on these. This is a new bright interior that Coleman has brought in for 2022, and Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it for years now. Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. You're gonna see that on all the drawers and storage that you have in this 1805 RB. Good little spot for a trash can right there. I got my single basin sink right here. GFCI 110 outlet mirrored medicine cabinet with a raised lip, which I'm a fan of because with, when you're taking stuff in transit and you set up at the campsite, the last thing you want to do is open your medicine cabinet and have a bunch of stuff fall out. So kudos to Coleman for giving me that there. You got the hanger here, your vent and fan right there. And then I got this nice 36 by 30 herringbone patterned walk-in shower right here with my shower curtain. Now, I don't really need the skylight to give me the additional headroom, but having it in here really does help. Plus, you're gonna see the light that comes in, especially during the day, really does brighten this up. Got your shower nozzle there with the on-off, your hot, your cold, your shelf right there for your soap, and the herringbone pattern, which to me just looks nice. Now, the floors are a laminated, it's like a bow floor uh, linoleum. And everything here with the Coleman lights is vacuum bonded. What that means is it's just additional safety and support all the way around. Floor, the walls, the ceiling, and even the front cap. So let's close this and take a look at the entertainment portion of this 1805 RB. Beautiful frosted glass inlays here in the cabinetry. They even continued the backsplash decor, making it look like a rustic kind of stone cabin all the way up. You got your TV on a swivel, component shelf here, Fury and AM FM command center with Bluetooth, HDMI. It is dual zones. So you can play the music outside. Plus you got a 5,000 BTU Air, uh, fireplace right there with multi-flame settings, multi-light settings. Really does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Now you do have a 20,000 BTU furnace right over here and a 13.5 BTU uh, Dometic AC right here with the quick cool dump. Uh, but since this is Coleman, it also has the blade air conditioning ducting in the roof, which means you get about 30% more efficiency out of your air conditioning when it's coming in. Come over here to the campsite where my kitchen is. I got my fridge freezer combo, Dometic seven cubic foot. I got it's gas or electric with the automatic switch. And you see right there, plenty of good space for those long weekend getaways. For a couple's coach with this one, especially with it being 22 feet, nine inches long, they really did a good job of maximizing the space that you have in here. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the grill style grate. I got the little LED accent lighting on my controls. Got the 16 inch graystone oven there and the decorative backsplash. Ian Baker, my buddy and I were talking about this earlier. I like how they did this with the decor. You get this beautiful, almost Spanish tile looking backsplash there farmhouse style sink, stainless steel, undermounted, high rise faucet with the sprayer. Really makes cleaning up a whole lot easier. Plus I got the apron right there. Another frosted glass inlay here, flush mounted microwave, some storage underneath right there. But what's cool about this one, once again, maximizing the space and making it versatile, you have an indoor outdoor table. Now, this is a couple's coach. There's not gonna be any separation of space in here. So sure, it'll sleep three people, maybe four if you bring the kids, because you do have this jackknife sofa over here, which Fritz, I'm gonna move this out the way, because this is great. Fold this down, stores right under the, the sofa here, or you can take it outside. 
That's a great feature to have, especially if you're an adventurous couple. You want to do some cooking outside, attach the grill, do all of that. You can. But then when it comes time to reconnect with the loved ones, spend some time maybe watching some TV, checking out the fireplace, you got this comfy, plush jackknife sofa with some little kick-out legs. Tell me that ain't fancy, funky, and free. I'm loving it. 255% nestled in its own little slide right here, wood balance, large panoramic windows, got some corner storage right there. And the fact that they've taken the brown out of the RV and added this gray in really adds to just the aesthetic. It's pleasing, it's lighter, it's brighter. And to me, if I'm gonna get an RV and use it as a vacation home, if my wife and I, we wanna do the 14 in Colorado, or we wanna go check out the beaches. We wanna do that wine tour of the country. We, we just wanna get out. We wanna see America the safest way possible in our RV. I want to be able to enjoy the outside, what I'm gonna see, and enjoy the inside. So the decor has to match, and they did a really good job with these. Large panoramic windows for cross flow of air over here in the master bed area. Queen size memory foam mattress. I'm a fan of that because that means they took another step to kind of make sure and ensure that I'm going to have an enjoyable RVing experience when I'm out and strut supported storage underneath too. Now, this is something that you would say, okay, so what? It's got struts. That's actually a really nice feature because when you're loading stuff in, trying to hold it up and put stuff in, it's just not fun. This adds to the experience. Nightstand space on both sides. I got dual USB charging on both sides. Plus I got some drawers over here that pull out some additional storage, space for a CPAP machine, mirrored ward storage on both sides. Plus, I got me some frosted glass inlays right there. Space there, beautiful linoleum flooring here. My command panel here so I could check on my battery, my tanks, run out my awning, run out my slide, cut on my water heater, which is either gas or electric, and cut on my water pump. It's beautiful. And now that we've seen the inside of the 1805 RB, what do you say we go take a look at the outside? Walk down my solid step over steps with my extra large grab handle, come out and right away, I'm a big fan of the fiberglass because of the way it looks, plus the graphics that are on there. 14 foot awning with the LED light strip, my marine grade speakers for my dual zone entertainment out there, sealed safety glass all the way around. Another great feature, especially if you're active, the external shower, because you don't want to track all that nasty stuff back into the RV. So bring the dogs, bring the kids, get them over here, get them cleaned up. Another great feature you're going to find, Kev, I'm going to lift this up so you can see it. Check it out. I got my powered stabilizer jacks. Yes. You remember what I mentioned about having some upgraded features and what feels like an entry-level priced RV? This is it. Black tank flush there. Spare tire and 4x4 sewer hose storage on the back. Now, since this is the Coleman Light Series, you're going to get a double axle on this one. So you got those aluminum rims, nitro-filled tires, Dexter Easy Lube axles there with the extra wide berth, giving you some good suspension and safety while going down the road. TV mount as well as all of your connections right here. If you want to bring a TV outside, you can. Got your cable connection and your 110 right there, plus your fresh water fill right there. Friction hinge door. We got the edge 12 volt awning right here with that light strip. Another feature that they've added for this year are the magnetic clasps to the storage doors. Very nice feature because you don't have to worry about holding it up. Finished off pass through storage with the LED light. Got the running lights here as well. Kev, I got my power stabilizer jacks under there as well. And because solar is such a big trend for 2022, if you got your solar panels want to trickle charge that battery, here's your 10 amp quick connect. Very easy to get to solar on the side, as they like to say. Come around to the front, got the little mini diamond plated rock guard, giving it that rugged, but yet still nice look to the front. Beautiful painted fiberglass end cap with the running lights. 20 pound LP tanks up front, as well as a powered tongue jack with a little LED light there as well. Give me some additional safety and security when setting up. We come around to the off camp side. You'll see here the slide, which is insulated all the way around. If you want to know like about your main terminations, you have them back here. Your gray tank, your black tank, which you have a 60 gallon fresh tank on this one, 39 gallon gray and 28 gallon black. When you're talking about an RV that's 22 feet long and a 60 gallon fresh tank, that's some great space. 
Got your 30 amp plug right there, cable connection, as well as your city water connection there. But when you're looking at RVs and you're thinking about, hey, we're an active couple, we like this 1805 RV. You know, Chris, what else do we need to think about? The one thing you wanna always check out is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 4478. Let's just call it 4,500 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,600 pounds. You take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and your Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my family, here's what my loved one, this is what we want to do. We're an active couple. We want to come out. We want to see the world, that you know, want to see the country the safest way possible. Is this right for us? Because knowing how much you can tow, knowing how many people you want to sleep and where you're going to go, that's going to be the key factors. Now, with vacuum bonded walls, foam core insulation in here, great sturdy build on this one. This one could go three season camping, but three season camping is going to be different in Buffalo than it is down in Phoenix. So you want to talk to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander about if this is going to be right for you. But 22 feet, nine inches long, let's call it 4,500 pounds dry. I got to tell you, if you're an active couple and the fact that my man Ian Baker helped them make that couch with the recliner in it, that was a great addition coming from the mind of a great man, really makes this one not only an attractive, active coach, but a comfortable coach as well. So find out more when you come see your specialist at Camping World and at Gander about if the Coleman 1805 RB is gonna be right for you.